Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Buy Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a time lapse speed process type of thing, um, and I figured I'd do a sculpting video since you guys ask about sculpting so much. So I start off with a basic uh, cube that I just subdivided a little bit. Um, and a couple of my tips here, I, I'm trying to use every single tool at my disposal. Um, I also enabled uh, uh, Dynatipo, Dyn Dyn Tat you know, the thing off on the side there, which actually helps subdivide your mesh as you're sculpting, which I'll do a separate video on. Dynatipo, Dyna, 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 Dynatipo, you know what I'm trying to say, Dynatipo, that's what I'm going to say, it sounds cool, so Dynatipo. But you can see here, I'm using pretty much every single tool that I, uh, I can. I'm not just using one, trying to get the best out of it. Um, so, so that's definitely something you should be doing. Always trying to make sure you're switching it up and changing it up. Um, make sure you're always changing radiuses and strengths too. I do that uh, so much for like uh, smaller pieces instead of just, hey, no, I can get that, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Make sure you change radiuses and things like that because it makes it much easier uh, to get uh, uh, the detail you're trying to get in there. Um, so I kind of just went with like this really like this old man kind of theme, I guess, this grumpy old man. Um, and, uh, one of the biggest, one of the biggest things is you don't want to go and subdivide too much because that's just, just going to cause problems. So, um, I, I try and keep everything, you know, kind of rough. And then like, like you're seeing right now, I'll go ahead and I'll smooth everything out to get a better look at what's going on. And then I'll do a little bit more and we'll smooth that later on. Um, but the clay strips definitely help here. I did make a, a video on tips about sculpting. I'll go, I'll link uh, that right now. And I'll probably be in a comment down there uh, in the comment section or description or wherever. But, uh, but yeah, go check that video out. Uh, there's a, a lot of different ways to go about sculpting, which is why it's kind of, it, it's kind of weird to, you know, teach or to explain, but best thing I can do is just go just go out there and just just practice because the, the more you do something the easier it gets um, and the less it uh, it becomes the less it's the less it, be, it it feels like it's alien to you it starts getting uh, easier and easier and uh, you start doing things faster and and, and, and better and, and all this stuff so uh, the biggest thing I can tell you like I said make sure you're switching up tools make sure you're switching up radiuses and strengths make sure you're uh, you're you're not just staying stagnant in the ways of sculpting um, and that uh, that dynatipo that dyn 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 yeah you, you you know what I'm trying to say um, I'll make a sep like I said I'll make a separate video on that uh, in the future but uh, but for now that's gonna be it for our sculpting video just a quick one uh, today just sharing a bit of my process um, nothing too special just a little bit of of pulling and and adding clay strips and uh, pinching and stuff like that so uh, so yeah pretty much try and get down a base of what you want to do and then later on you can start refining that and making it easier to uh, to take on a shape of a face or something like that but like I said that'll be it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it um, uh, let me know uh, what what other types of sculpting videos you guys want to see I have a couple more sculpting videos coming soon but I uh, just wanted to post a little bit of a time-lapse process today so I'll see you guys in the next one but until then Bye-bye.